guys. I'm like, gee, I wonder when it's going to go live. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Now I'm going to have a hot flash. Hi, this is Susan Campfield at SusanCampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. We're super casual here. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, cheers, friends. Happy Tuesday. We're live for our regular Tuesday um, video tutorial. Uh, let me know what's in your cup. I'm going to warn you right off the bat that I am a messy crafter and I lose things during the video. So when I find it again, we all say found it and we take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup tonight. I've got sparkling lime and ginger water. Yum. Tastes really good too. So uh, tonight, um, I did want to remind you that um, tonight we're going to make a... I'm all over the place. Okay, focus. Um, <laughs> Tonight we're going to make another never-ending fun fold card. I did this on uh, the video that was supposed to go live on Saturday night, our normal time, but had some tech problems due to some weirdo weather. So we went live Sunday night and we did a perennial lavender never-ending fun fold card. Tonight we're going to do another one with the uh, Be Mine suite, a uh, little Valentine action, a little bee action, a little buzz. Um, so we're going to give it another go here. Now, uh, some of you said, I watched your video. It was great. I followed along. I made a never ending card. Um, I'm so excited. Others of you went, mm, looks scary. I'm not, I, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you again because I'm going to encourage you to give it a go. Um, this never ending fun fold card or these never ending fun fold cards will go out in a uh, project sheet that you can print out that will go out via email. Oh, that's the wrong one, Susan. Mm. Let's hit the right buttons here. Um, you go to SueStanfield.com, click on subscribe to project sheets, and you'll be all set. And that should come out next week. So let's go ahead and get started. Where am I at here? Here we go. So you're, you're a messy crafter too, Jer uh, Jeremy. I don't know how to say your name. It's a really pretty name and I'm going to ruin it. Um, and I should know how to say your name, but I... I'm blanking out. Tell me how to how to pronounce that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the project sheet would get you to make one, Gretchen. Uh, okay, I'm going to get you in the end. It'll be it'll be photos, but I like um, well, I like both. I like the project sheets so I know what sizes to cut. This one is so simple uh, until you get to the decorating. Then it gets a little more complicated. But um, the uh, Videos are nice for my brain. I like to, I'm a visual learner, so I do like to see it, how it goes together. So let's get rid of that banner. I am on my own tonight. Um, Jennifer is under the weather this evening. So props out to Jennifer, we miss you. And she'll be back with us really soon. Um, and uh, so I'm going alone. So <laughs> bear with me, friends. You guys are all so patient. All right, I'm gonna go to my desktop here. Let's find the right button, Susan. Okay, why does that look so dark? What if I move this light over? This light over? No, it makes no difference. Alrighty then, this is how we're gonna go. So, um, never ending fun full card. Mm, that's what we're doing. All right, that would require a paper trimmer and some paper. Mm, complicated, right? see how easy it is. So we're going to try this one. First of all, I'll show you the one that I made in the last video in case you didn't tune, you weren't able to tune in. So where is it? Here it is. So this is our perennial lavender never ending fun fold card. And this is how the card opens. You, It's like a gatefold card. So you fold it back here. And this is the next stage. And as you fold that back, you can see it's already wanting to fold to the next stage. So this is one, this is two, then it folds here, this is three, and then the last one is four. And that's where we have, I left a space to sign my name and just a kind of the inside greeting. And then we're back to that front again. I did ask in my video, I asked if you guys thought I should add a paper butterfly to this stage, number three, and uh, many of you said, yes, please. And so, um, oh, look, <laughs> I found it. Take a sip, everyone. In the video, before the last video, I prepared the butterfly with some 
uh, multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of it so that if you um, wanted to me to put that on there I could just stick it on and then I lost it and that we know why I lost it it's stuck to <laughs> it's gonna tear oh my gosh it really stuck to this uh, adhesive let's see if it's got enough sticky to I might need to reduce it a little bit but we're just gonna add a little butterfly right here now you sure could sponge that with a little bit of Highland Heather so that it pops out a little bit more. But yeah, the butterfly loves my, my tape runner, right? And then it's going to be just peeking out behind um, these panels. I think that's okay. The other option is that we could actually add it here. So um, these two these panels are the ones that are a little bit um, different because they, they show on both... Um, panel three and on panel two so um so we'll leave the butterfly on just kind of peeking out there as a, a surprise of what's coming and then we'll go back to the beginning so i'm going to walk you through how to make this card one more time because i know some more of you are going to be brave and give it a go right say yes susan <laughs> so i'm going to start with a piece of cardstock um, our, I'm in the U.S. So our cardstock is uh, four and a quarter by eight and a half, and this color is called Sweet Sorbet, and it's um, a bit of a softer red. So I cut it at four and a quarter, and now I'm cutting it at five and a half. And then I need a second piece that's five and a half. Now this piece should already be five and a half. Sometimes cardstock can be a, just a touch off. So I'm going to put it in or maybe I cut it off and just make sure that it is. Oh, I shaved off like an eensy weensy bit. Barely any. But um, so now I've got two pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a half in sweet sorbet. So sweet sorbet. <laughs> do they make does uh, Stampin' Up make decorated uh, tape runners? No, but you can decorate your own, Nicole, right? Just add a little butterfly. It's super cute. <laughs> um, so we've got our two pieces of Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet is um, a little bit, I guess I'm going to call it maybe a, a softer red. So this is real red here, So you can, which is more of a true red. So you can see the, the difference in the Sweet Sorbet. Now, if you don't have all the Stampin' Up! colors, that's okay. You can use a similar one. I do like to have all the colors of cardstock because, um, or especially the ones that match the designer papers that I have, because I love it when it matches the paper. And we're going to use this pretty paper. So I wanted to pick up that red. Oh, hey, Katie, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, so this is the Be Mine paper. And on the back, it tells me all the colors that are in the paper. So that makes it super easy. Now you might say, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't get every single color of cardstock. If that's the case um, and you do want to start collecting, you know, all of the inks and the cardstocks, you might want to consider getting the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. I cut this, my trimmer just cut this weird, it's got a weird lip thing on it. So I'm going to just trim it with my scissors because it's bugging me, you guys. It's like, I don't know. I think I need a new blade on my trimmer. I um, just cut 80 cardstock bases. <laughs> <laughs> with it that have for Crafternoon, which is coming up this Saturday, by the way, uh, this Saturday at 3 Central Time um, will be our next Crafternoon. And the Fun Fold has some unique intricate cuts on the inner part of the card. So I hand cut all um, 80 card bases. So how do you get a packet for Crafternoon? You place an order at my online store. And then the next month, you'll get a packet to do that month's Crafternoon Fun Fold. So right now, if you place an order in my online store in January, you're going to get that Crafternoon uh, packet in February. So make the next Fun Fold card. Um, anyway, backing up, um, if you want to collect the card stocks and the ink colors, it's really a good idea to get the starter kit. It's normally $99 and you get to pick $125 in product. Shipping is free and you just pay tax. But during celebration, which is going on right now, um, you get an extra deal. So um, it's a really good time. I'm, I'm stalling while I just make sure which one. Okay, that's this one I want to start with. Um, so it's a, a really good deal. Um, if you have things to collect. And then when you get the starter kit, you become a demonstrator. You can try it out. You're not subject to the demonstrator minimum until your first full quarter, which if you joined in January, your first full quarter is not going to be till April, May, June. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this 
done. So we've got our two pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to score one of them. This is going to be the front of our card. So I'm going to rotate this so that the five and a half inch side is at the top of my trimmer. And I'm going to get my scoring blade here. And I'm going to score it at one and three eighths inches in from each side. Okay, so there's one, two, uh, wait, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, one and three eighths inches. So it's right before the one and a half and right after the one and a quarter. All right. So we're going to go ahead and crease that. And then I'm going to rotate this piece all the way around so that the other five and a half inch side is at the top. And I'm going to score again at one and three eighths. So one eighths, two eighths, three eighths. Yes, I have to count it every time. I know. Yes, it's sad. It's <laughs> not, not, I'm not a math person, I got to say. So it's going to look like this. Does that make sense? You're going to have the two, uh, two score lines on each side and they're one and three eighths inch in. All right. I know you can't really see it on here, but trust me, they're scored. And then we're going to cut this piece in half. But before we cut it in half, we're going to rotate it so that our two lines are running parallel and we're going to chop it in half. Okay, so it was four and a quarter. So half is going to be two and an eighth of an inch. All right. Okay, two. So that, ooh, didn't quite cut the top today. That's going to form the front of our card. All right, so let's set that aside. And before I do, I'm just going to give you a little brief recap of that one. That's this one right here. Okay, so four and a quarter by five and a half you scored it from one and three eighths inch with the five and a half at the top in from each side and then you cut it at two and an eighth okay so that is going to be the the front of our card let's set that aside and let's do the next piece so this one is going to be a little bit different this one we're going to put this will be the back of our card and this one, we're going to put the four and a quarter inch side at the top. And we're going to score it at one and sixteenth of an inch. So let me show you where that is on your paper trimmer. You do want to make sure you're using a, a scoring device that has sixteenth of an inch for this card. So it is the, the short line right after the one. That's one and sixteenth. Okay, so there's one. And that very first line is going to be one and sixteenth. All right, so we're gonna score. Don't cut, Susan, score. <laughs> Here we go. That would be so embarrassing. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it around. So again, the other four and a quarter inch end is at the top. And again, we're gonna score at four and a quarter. Okay. So what you have is a piece that looks like this. These are the score lines. I know that you can't see them here, but I don't know if they quite match sweet sorbet, but they're close. <laughs> and uh, so we've got that piece. Now we're going to cut this piece in half. Okay, so we're going to flip it. So now the five and a half inch side is at the top. It's kind of the exact opposite as the first piece. And we're going to slide over to two and three quarters inches. And we're going to cut our cardstock. All right. So just a recap on that one. Let me find, I've got all these little paper bits, it's like paper dolls or something. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, goodness. I hope, was this the right one I showed you before? Um, so this is what this piece looks like. Four and a quarter. We scored it at one and sixteenth of an inch in each side with that four and a quarter inch side at the top. And then we cut it in half at two and three quarters. Okay. And now we're going to put this together. Oh, you can't say you have to go to work. Darn, that work just gets in the way. What the heck? That's okay. You can watch the replay. I don't want to put that trimmer too far away because we're going to need it. All right. So this is what we've got going. So this is going to be the back of our card. And this is going to be the front of our card. All right. So I'm going to lay the back of the card where the two pieces are sort of stacked on top of each other. And then I'm going to get some tear and tape. Sure you are, Susan. Where did I put it? Oh, good heavens. I just had it. Oh, found it. I put it away. Who even am I? 
<laughs> so we're going to put some tear and tape. Now let me bring the, um, let's see what it I'll bring this one in. Okay. This is, this is the back of the card. So we're going to put tear and tape adhesive up here, up here, down here and down here. Okay. It's, we have about half of this piece that's going to be covered. I don't want to get too close to that just in case I get carried away. So I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to put two pieces kind of up near the top here. Now you don't have to use tear and tape adhesive. You could also use a multi-purpose liquid glue for this. Um, you, I, you can use, I think my very first one that I did, which was the lavender, this one that I showed you, uh, I believe I used, um, just, uh, the stamp and seal. So totally up to you. you. Of course, you don't want your card to fall apart. That is pretty important. All right. So I've got those guys up there. I'm going to add two more in the bottom corners. And I'm making sure, I know you can't really see it, but there is a score line here. I'm making sure I don't go past that score line. There we go. And one more. All right, so I've got those down. And we're going to grab a take your pick tool. And we're going to pull off the backing here. Yeah, so who's going to be able to join in this coming Saturday at 3 o'clock Central Time to see the newest Crafternoon Fun Fold, the featured Fun Fold for January. I'm super excited. I think you're going to love it. And let me know if you are uh, someone who placed an order last month and got a packet. The packets went on on Friday, so you might not have it yet because, you know, Monday was a holiday um, here in the U.S. So um, the packets are on their way. I know some were delivered today. Some were delivered on Saturday. So it's coming. All right. Getting all my pieces off, which may or may not be a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I pulled those all off. Hmm. Not sure if that was the best idea, but we're going to go with it. So I'm going to butt these two pieces together. And I'm going to take this piece and these are my two front pieces, right? And so they're going to go on like that. And I'm going to, you're still waiting for your packet, Linda. It's coming. I know I mailed yours. Um, we're going to stick this down at the upper left corner. We do want to make sure that we've got the top and the side kind of butted together. All right. So I've got that. I've got that in there. I'm going to just butt up the bottom edge again so that they're nice and close together and then I'm going to stick this on here all right so I've got the first piece stuck on the top and bottom and then I'm going to take the second piece and stick it on at the top and bottom it's a little easier because the piece is holding together better now that half of it's down all right so I don't know. I think you can just make out that there's a score line here and a score line here. Um, on the back side here, there's a score line the long way and a score line the long way. So I'm going to fold this back. I don't want to fold this part in half because there's no score lines here. Um, the score line is back here. And I say that because the first time I made this, I actually folded that. <laughs> so I'm going to fold that back. This is where that crease is. I'm going to flatten it and crease it out. Now, I have seen this done where you um, crease everything ahead of time. You absolutely can do that. It's personal preference. All right, score that really, crease that really, really well. Now we're going to do the same with this side. Okay, Nancy's going to try to watch Saturday. Yay! We're going to fold this back. Again, that score line is underneath. And that's the one that we're going to crease well on. Okay, so this is the front of the card. This is part two. <laughs> and let me just sweep all my pieces out of the way now that we've explained here. Now we're going to fold this one backward. And this is the, the next score line. You can see the score line there, but it hasn't been creased yet. So we're just going to gently fold that back and give that a good creasing. And then we're going to fold the bottom one very carefully back. This is the fold right back here. So we're going to just flip back on that fold and crease that down. Oh, that's a good idea. 
use a piece of washi tape or something to kind of hold the back parts together. Um, what I have done in some of our fun folds, like the Flying Finch uh, fun fold card from uh, a past crafternoon and the Flying Seagull card uh, from the past crafternoon, um, post-it notes work really good for holding those together while you get your glue on. So now we've got number three done. We're going to fold this open and this is the, the back of the card, okay? Now I'm gonna go through the whole process again. So back to the front here, and then the second one, and this is just what I did, just give it another crease. And then here, give it a crease again, <clears throat> just so that it really flows easily. And then to the back. And like, you literally could sit here all day. It's like a fidget, right? <laughs> It um, reminds me of the notes we used to pass in seventh grade that were those like football things. Do you know what I mean? I don't remember what they're called. Um, fortune tellers? Is that what they were called? Anyway, um, yeah, we used to pass notes. But shh, don't tell my teacher, but we did. <laughs> All right. So now, yeah, you thought there'd be a lot more cardstock pieces, right? It's literally two four and a quarter by five and a half inch pieces. It's actually... Uh, much, much, much easier than it looks. Cootie catchers, cootie catchers. Okay, that's what they were called. So, all right. So, um, we're so Joan. I know you were one that said you we needed to learn it in person. Do you think you could give this a try? I think you could totally do this. I've seen your cards before. I know your skill level. You could totally handle this. All right. So, um, I'm just gonna put up briefly here. Um, this piece. So this is the front of the card. So I'll stick that on there. Um, if you want to take a screenshot of those dimensions, if you want to make this before I get the project sheet out, um, you can take a screenshot of that. <laughs> 3M should sponsor me for using and selling post-it notes. Hey, they're here in Minnesota. They really should. I totally agree with you, Janine. 100%. All right. And then this is the back of the card. So let me get to the back here. There it is. The dimensions for the back are right there. Okay, now we're going to decorate. So this is the fun part. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, but this is where I don't know what this is going to look like. So we're going to decide together. We're going to decide together. All right, so I've got I've got little notes here on all the pieces that we need for each side. This is number one, the front of the card. All we need to do is make some decisions, right? So oh, I love this one, you guys. It's so cute. We totally have to use this one, right? Totally have to use that one. It's adorable. I actually like the other side too with the bee trails. These hearts, um, these bees holding the hearts are also super cute. And let's see. Oh, these little tiny bees are adorable as well. Mm. All right. We're getting some good ones here. We're getting some good ones. There's also one that's got, um, oh, here's some bees with flowers. Oh, they're, so, oh, they're all so cute. So this is the Bee Mind Designer Series paper. Oh, and this is just flowers. More bees with flowers. That one's cute too. Oh my gosh. How are we going to decide? All right. This is the fun part though, right? All right. I'm going to just pull out some pieces here because if again, you can look at my, my first one, this is a great way to show off your, your designer paper. It's better to show it, make a card with it than hoard it. Right. And that's a good point. Fonda is saying that you only need teeny tiny pieces for the upper parts. So you want to use your little bit bigger um, designs for these main panels and um, and plan accordingly. So good reminder. Um, you can also really stretch your pretty papers quite far with this type of fun fold because it is a lot of little pieces, right? So um, Charlene made this for the grandkids. They thought you were a genius, right? Like a magician, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, you can do two at a time because when you cut your cardstock, you know, we cut it in, ha in, in half the long way to get our four and a quarter by five and a half. And we've got two more. So it'd be really easy to make another one, right? So, all right, let's decorate this card, my friends. Let's see. I am wondering. I am wondering because we might want to do. La, 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 la. All right. 
I think for the front, we're gonna go with some beach rails and these cute beads with the heart. So I am gonna use a little bit bigger pattern here on the front um, because it will show off quite nicely. So let me grab my, my cheat sheet here. So I need two pieces of designer paper that are one and seven eighths by two and a half, all right? So bring in my handy dandy paper trimmer here. By the way, this gingham side, also cute. Just saying, just saying. All right, so I'm gonna cut the length first and that is two and a half. And then we'll go in and cut the width. All right. Okay. And. Oh, do one step at a time. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I would get so confused if I was trying to do many different steps at a time. Um, okay, this is where I like to take a second to see who I'm going to chop in half. I really like this bee. He is so darn cute. And with my measurements, I would cut him in half. <gasps> I can't do that. All right, but you know what? Here he is over here. And I think with this one, I'll get to see all of him. Let's check it. One and seven eighths. Oh yeah. Might lose a little bit of his wings. So you know what? I'm gonna slide it over a little bit. I want all of him. <laughs> He's just too cute. So I'm going to, uh, I cut more than I needed and I'm gonna go back in and cut it at one and seven eighths so that I get, I get all of that cute little bee. And then let's do another one here. And this one will be um, one and seven eighths. This time I can cut this one in half because I'll have this little cutie right here. Totally fine. All right. So we've got those for our front two panels on our card. And now we just need um, something to decorate the top and bottom. Since these are quite busy patterns, I want to go with something that is less busy. So I'm going to go to the other side of this paper, the paper with the honey pots on it. And I'm going to go with the bee trails because they're so cute. All right, which direction do bee trails go? Do they go left to right or up to down? Probably left to right. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds perfectly logical. All right, so I'm going to cut this at one and an... Wait, is that right? One and an eighth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm going to cut this at one and an eighth, and then we'll uh, cut the other part here. The... So one and an eighth, cutting the width first. And then we're gonna cut one and seven eighths. And we need four of these, All right? So one, two, three, and four. All right, so we've got all our little V trails. Oh, Mary made one for her son's 20, her grandson's 28th birthday. Wow. <laughs> he played with it for quite a while trying to figure it out. He's an accountant and a computer programmer. Oh, up it does right up his alley, right? That's awesome. All right, so um, I was going to try to match these up, but I'm not. I'm not. Let it go, Susan. Don't be so anal. Okay. <laughs> you do that I totally do that but you know what nobody is ever gonna know but me okay let's stick it here stick this one here overthinkers anonymous right here all right all right I'm getting thirsty you guys I have to lose something pretty soon here all right I'm just gonna take a sip <laughs> hmm. good stuff all right, more bee trails down here and some bee trails right here. All right, and I got sticky on my desk again. It's par for the course. Now, if you choose to buy the starter kit right now, you get um, extra stuff because it's celebration. So instead of just $99 in product, um, you actually get uh, $99 in or, sorry, $125 in product for $99. You can add on to that with either the Glass Mat Studio, which is a $60 value, 
or you can get extra $30 in product. So instead of $125, get $155 in product. Either way is a good deal. And then once you purchase the starter kit, you are, you've got the demonstrator discount and you can save on all your other things that you want to add to your collection. All right, there we have a start to our cue card here. And we're going to open it up now and we're going to work on the second part. So let's look again. Um, I need to, I need to do a little more bone foldering, see how it wants to spring away and go flying off. It's those bees at work, <laughs> busy bees. I'm just going to crease it a little bit more. So that was the front of the card. Now we're going to go on to the inside of the card. All right. And this is the measurements for the designer paper on that. So let's see what it, see what it was on the perennial lavender one. I know this bee suite is super cute. So what's a little bit unique about this particular one is the these two panels will actually be decorating when we get to the next stage. They'll be right here. So we're going to start with just the ones here and here and then the four corners, right? So on this one I did these two and I did the four corners. All right, so what should we do? Um, I'm going to look ahead just thinking, I wonder. All right. This is this particular one, I think for me, is the sometimes the harder one because I don't want to get it too busy, but I also don't want it to get too boring. <laughs> so um, that next one is a good one to put some words on, I think. All right, so I've got this one and my pieces are, again, I need two that are one and seven eighths by two and a half, which is, guess what, the same as it was on the front. And I need four pieces that are seven eighths by one and an eighth, which is the same as it was, oh, is that right? No, these are smaller. In the front, they were bigger. So these these ones are a little bit smaller. All right. Okay. I'm stalling because I can't decide. All right. Let's just try stuff. Let's just start cutting. That's the best way to proceed, right? I'm going to look at, see what the honey would look like because I think this honey is so dang cute. Seriously cute. All right. So the width of this is what? The width is uh, one end seven eighths All right. and then two and a half and two and a half I think if I I think the honey would um, not show up in the small corners Janine good good uh, good thought but because they are quite big, I'm not sure if they would show up. Um, all right, so uh, you know what? Because I cut the same row, both of them have the scoop of honey in them. I'm going to cut another row and see, would I get anything different? It would be the same. Well, let's find out. One way to find out, one and seven eighths. Might be the same pattern. If I had a really logical mind, I could probably figure this out without cutting, but I don't. <laughs> I have a creative mind, so we just cut it and see what it looks like, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it is different. Woohoo! All right, so this one is a little bit different. So now I've got two that are a little bit different. Um, I think one of my papers just went flying across the room, but hey, that's okay. It's all good. So we're going to put our honey pots here. Again, these are one and seven eighths by two and a half. Always makes me think of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's the end of that tape runner. Okay, goodbye seal. Let's grab another one. Fortunately, I have a backup loaded and ready to go. Do not want to run out of adhesive in the middle of a never ending card, right? All right, let's get this one going here. It's only paper. It's only paper. All right, so there we've got some honey pots. And then I'm thinking, la, 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 la. I'm thinking of this. We could put this in the four corners. Let me just play around here and see what the like the um, what these flowers would look like. The flowers are really cute, aren't they? 
Um, let me just try something here. I'm wondering about this middle panel that's going to be peeking out behind. Oh, we could put the bees on. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's try the, let's try the, okay, you guys help me decide. <laughs> I can't decide. All right, so we're decorating the four little corners. Do we want to go with the yellow? Um, let's call it a gingham for lack of a better word. It's actually not quite gingham, but similar. Or should we go with the, the sweet sorbet flowers? So yellow or red? Yellow or red? Let me know. Um, Flossy cut. What, Janine? What are you even talking? <laughs> I have to admit, I am not a big fussy cutter. It is true. Um, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, yellow. Uh, okay, I'm seeing more votes for yellow, so we're going to go yellow. Don't worry, you're going to have more opportunity to vote because we've got two more sides to decorate yet. Um, I lost the... How did I lose a paper trimmer? Like, serious. Oh, found it. <laughs> it was under my designer paper. <clears throat> Never mind. I found it. We're all good. All right, so we're going to... Oh, I got to sip for that, don't I? Hmm. All right, we are all on the same page with the yellow. So we need um, seven eighths inch. That was a skinny mini. Seven eighths inch. And then we need four of them that are one and an eighth inch. So seven eighths by one and an eighth. One and an eighth. And one and an eighth. And guess what? One and an eighth. <laughs> All right. Good choice, guys. I think that will be super cute. All right. So let's stick these guys on. A little piece of seal will do. This is going to be really cute. And yeah, we will add some words to this. Um, with the stamp set here. So we've got um, love you. We've got all sorts of choices. We can even put it, stick a B on here if we want. All right. And again, I'll probably have to stamp the B and punch it out to decide if that's gonna work or not because I'm a visual learner. <laughs> All right, so we've got our four corners. Now we're gonna not gonna worry about these two panels because we are going to be decorating those in the next um, in the next panels, right? So our yellow went away. Our yellow is now hidden, but whatever we put here is also going to show here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So you do kind of have to, this is the one part, panel three, is the one part where you do need to think about it a little bit. You know, you might want to, um, you could go with some nice, uh, cute little hearts, but then the main panels here are going to be a little bit boring. I think these little bees will be ideal. A um, little busy, but we're going to get a little peak of bees here. So let's try it. We'll, maybe we'll think it's too busy, but we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to flip to number three here and here's the sizes we need two and a half inches by one and seven eighths well that's sounding real familiar isn't it you can see we need a lot of panels that are that size for this card in fact we need a total of seven um, so we're going to cut this at two and a half and And one and seven eighths. All right. <laughs> Takes too much thinking, but it, it but it is definitely a wow. And only the, the maybe only the decorating is the thinking part, right? And you could uh, cut some corners by just using the same pattern on all of it and then decorating the panels with other things, right? Words or images or whatnot. I'm just creasing this another another round. So let's, let's see what we think of our little bees. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. This is such a cute bundle. It's 
uh, just a suite of products, I should say, adorable. I'm going to switch this around. Let's see. I think I'm going to put go this way because I think that's the way they were. I can see this bee was cut in half right here. <laughs> so let's flip it back and see what it looks like. Um, I don't think that's terribly busy. It's a little busy, but they're busy bees, right? I think it's okay. I think it's actually kind of cute. This is what the hearts would look like if you prefer hearts. We could, we could go that route. Those are the hearts on the other side. There's absolutely no pink anywhere else on this side, but it's not bad. It's okay. That would work as well. So, um, yeah, the card base is fine. The designer paper is a challenge. That is totally true. Especially if you're um, picky like me. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to make an executive decision and we're going to go with the bees. Joan's with me. Yep. She says she likes the bees too. So let's do it, Joan. All right. There we go. There are our little bees. Yeah, the bees go with the honey pots, don't they? Like they're coming out from behind those. They're attracted to those honey pots, aren't they? All right, and then we have, oops, I didn't switch. I'm, uh, wait, no, that is the right one. Okay. Whew. <laughs> and then we need four more that are seven eighths by one and an eighth. So what should we do? Let me just show you your options here. Um, we could do, now this one does have the little, where are they at? Come here. We could do the flip side of the same paper and we could do the little hearts because there is the wings on this one that do have a little pink, a little petal pink in them. So we could go with those or we could bring in that yellow again, which was so cute on the last one that yellow gingham would be super cute or we can do bee trails so you got see my thinking we've got these little scraps that we could cut up and use um, so we could use bee trails or we could do flowers mm, the flowers are pretty cute we haven't used those yet we haven't used those yet oh there are some pink in the jar covers good point janine um all right, let's let's uh, we've got four options. That's too many, Susan. We narrow it down. Um, all right, I'm. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. And, and this one didn't do much for me. I'm going to pull that one out. Um, I would say one of these three. Okay, flowers, uh, the yellow or the hearts. So let me know in the comments. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. And I know I moved around a few times, so. Um, the bee trails are nice, but I, I'm going to have a tough time getting them going the right direction, I think. So, well, no, I think that would, that would, yeah, that would work. They're very subtle. So, um, I'm seeing a lot of votes for number one and a few for three. Okay, we're going to go flowers, friends. These are decisive tonight. I love it because I am not. All right. <laughs> so, we're going to cut this at seven eighths inches. Now, if you are one of my Stamp Field Stars team members, like Lisa Marshall, hanging out in the comments, um, team members always get the Craftoon um, tutorials for free. So they get those by email after Craftoon. And all right, we've got seven eighths of an inch, and we're going to cut this at one and an eighth. And. Yeah, you get to see all of the DSP, right? <laughs> One and an eighth. Yeah, I think I agree, Janine. The yellow would have been cute too, but they're they're all gonna be cute, right? So cute. All right, and one and an eighth. All right. Sweep those off the trimmer. Stick them on our card, and we've just got one one left to do. All right, so let's stick our little flowers on. Little bee head that we chopped off on the back. <laughs> um, I don't know why these flowers are so cute, but they really are adorable. They're little like white posies with yellow centers. And they're just happy. They're happy male flowers. I do want to thank each and every one of you who are making and sending handmade cards. 
you're doing great things. So thank you for all that you do. It is super cute paper. And you know, these little, these flowers, like that's not just specifically uh, Valentine. I mean, you can use those anytime, right? So we've got our flowers on there. And now, hey, Vicki in Southern Iowa, you are buried in snow down there. <laughs> that's where my mom is and she is buried in snow as well. Um, all right, so we are, um, we're going to go ahead and do our last panel. <gasps> we're there. We're in our last panel. All right. So <laughs> I am thinking, I don't think this is cheating. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do, we're going to repeat the same from the front um, for the top. Now I'm only doing, okay, where's number four. I'm only going to do one panel. I have, for this one, I'm actually going to cut a piece of basic white cardstock so that I have a place to sign my card, right? So I'm going to cut this one. Let's bring that paper trimmer back in. And one and seven eighths. And then let me grab a scrap of cardstock that's hanging out over here on the desk and cut this at one and seven eighths. By two and a half. All right, there we go. Let's stick those, stick those guys on and then we're gonna decide on our last panels. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could stamp on this before sticking it on. I think that would be a really wise choice, Susan, because um, at this point, my card's getting a little bit lumpy with all of these layers and things. So I'm gonna have a better, um, a better stamp image if I just do it on here. So I'm gonna go with Happy Valentine's Day. And it's right here. And then of course we're gonna go like, what I love about Stampin' Up! is that all of the cardstocks and inks match, so you don't have to think about what color. you just like, oh, I'm using Sweet Sorbet cardstock, so I grab the Sweet Sorbet ink, and I'm good to go. All right, let's grab our block here. Oh, I'm totally going to stamp this crooked, I can tell already. All right, let me look here. <laughs> it's um, it's a cursive font that, that is kind of wiggly, which it is actually nice because then if it's crooked, it doesn't matter. It's kind of supposed to be that way, but it'll still bug me. So let's see how I do. There we go. Happy Valentine's Day. And that's going to go right down there. Oh, did I just stick that in the... Oh, boy. Oh, that was so close, you guys. Did you see what I almost did? I almost stuck the whole corner right. <laughs> All right. Um, you like a challenge, Jenny, when you're crafting? Yeah. Sometimes challenging cards are fun. Sometimes super simple cards are fun. It kind of just depends on the situation, right? Sometimes for certain people, you like to pull out all the steps and kind of do a special card because um, you know they'll appreciate it, right? Uh, but any card is good as long as it gets in the mail and gets to the person, right? That's the end goal. Whether it's simple or, or complicated, doesn't matter. Just needs to get to them. All right, I am thinking going with the, all right, we have these extra pieces. It seems a crime to not use them. <laughs> so um, I had a bee trail too, but I, um, it's going the wrong direction. So um, should we use yellow or red? Let me know in the comments what we're doing to finish up our card here. So yellow or red? Somebody said hearts. We could do hearts. Fonda, that wasn't a choice. <laughs> She's throwing me off my game. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, yellow it is. Yellow is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go with some yellow here. And I might need one more piece. Let's see how much we can get out of it. So I need four that are um, seven and eights by two and a half. So I am going to be short, but that's okay. I've got, I've got more paper. <laughs> All right, you need to move. Yes, I talked to my cards. It's true. So we're going to cut this at two and a half. And two and a half. 
And this last one that was left over is two and a half. So we just need one more. What was that on the back of? Oh, right here. All right. So let's do one more piece. That's seven eighths. And two and a half. How are we doing for time, friends? Let's see here. And I, if you if you know me at all, you know I am not very wordy. So I put all my love into making the card, and then I don't want to have to say other anything other than love, Susan. <laughs> if you are if you like to write uh, more things in your card, you could not put any stamping on this and use that whole cube if you're writing is tiny or you know what you could just put a little love note in with the card right if you have more to say all right and then this suite of products comes with if you get the whole suite you can pick and choose of course you don't have to get all of it but if you get the whole suite it comes with some embellishments that are super cute and I think oh, I'm getting more adhesive on my desk. Oh, my stars. All right. And one more right here. All right. Let's look at our card here. Oh, I wanted to add. Oops, I bump on everything. I bump on everything. So these are the adhesive back hearts and flowers. And they're, um, they're kind of epoxy. Um, embellishments which means they're really really shiny which is really fun so i think a heart should be red i don't know don't know about you guys but i'm thinking red so i'm going to grab a red heart here because i think happy valentine's day needs a red shiny heart next to it all right let's see how thick is this card will it need extra postage um lisa marshall that is a great question so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my handy dandy tool from the Country Hive. This is a for U.S. postage, this slot. If your card fits through that, then um, you don't need extra postage. If you have to shove it through, then you do need extra postage. So I don't have my card finished yet. Um, it goes through just fine. If I put a bunch of dimensionals and raise things up, then um, I might need to add something. So uh so here we have our card. Let's let's give it a run through. One, two, three, four, and that's the end. So that's the never-ending card, but it never has to end. There has you can just keep going all day long. But I do want to add a little bit more decoration here, um, for sure on the front. So I'm thinking of doing um, a love you, and we could also. Do a B. It might be too big for the front. Let's see. Could stick a B on the honey. I don't know if it'll fit. <gasps> There's one way to find out. There's one way to find out, right? What time is it? Oh my gosh, we have only four minutes. All right. Mm. Mm. All right, what are we putting on the front? Do we want, we're going to do some words on the front. Do we want B mine? Get it? B mine. <laughs> you make my heart buzz or love you let me know what we're putting on the front be mine love you or you make my heart buzz such a fun it is a wow right it just is a total wow and this one because it's got this cute paper on it it really doesn't need a lot of decoration because the paper um kind of does the does all the work right so what are my votes coming in here I've got two for Buzz. I've got three for mine, four for mine, another for Buzz. All right, it looks like B mine is just squeaking out the wind. So I'm seeing things for every, every, every option. So that's good. That means I don't have a clunker. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just take, well, why did I grab that? I already had one. Oh, who knows? knows i'm hurrying this way all right be mine all right we're gonna do be mine um you know what i'm gonna do it here 
<laughs> I'm turning it every which way. All right, so let's open this up. I can't get how it works either. Just follow the instructions to make it, but I still, like, if you ask me to explain it to you further, like, how it works, mm, don't know. All right, so there we've got our bee mine. Now, if I had room, I could do a little bee trail. I don't know if I'm really going to have room. So, all right, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with that. I'm just going to grab my trimmer. This is, this is low tech right here. <laughs> We're just going to straight out cut this. All right, just cutting a little, little doodah here. You know what, I might, I'm going to leave a little bit extra because I think we might need one of those little poxy things on here. Mm, let's see. Let's see how it fits. All right. Okay, I'm going to make it the same width as these, which were, were what, were they one and seven eighths, I think? I think I'd remember I cut, that min I cut seven of them, but <laughs> that was minutes ago. How could I possibly remember that long ago, right? All right, be mine, and I'm leaving a little bit of extra room here so we can add a little epoxy heart right there. All right, I think that's, we're, we're going to just, sorry, little bee, you're, you're really cute, but we're just going to cover up your face. <laughs> yep, I think that's a bit, or we could, oh, you know what, we could do it up here. There's not a lot going on up there. That might be, uh, um, does that make you feel better? Let me know, left panel or right panel, where are we putting it? And then while you're voting, I'm gonna grab, see if I can locate some, ah, found them, mini dimensionals, excellent. And yep, I'm making it thicker, so I might need to put extra postage on, but I'm okay with that. Totally don't mind putting extra two stamps on, not an issue. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, you guys are, <laughs> you guys are, are on a red panel. Oh, that's true. Oh, we could do a red panel. How about the corner? A couple of you said, uh, try it on a red panel. Don't cover up those bees. All right, maybe down here. Yeah, I think maybe down here. Let's go with this. be mine oh we got a susan hair in there mm, sorry <laughs> it's stuck in the it, oh my heavens to betsy what's even happening here all right well we'll get it later all right we got our be mine we need a little heart next to it or a big heart next to it or some kind of heart next to it let's go big go big or go home right so cute be mine. All right, I like it. Good choice on the red panel. Mm -hmm. You guys are so smart. See, what would I do without you? All right, now we're going to flip this open. And I don't think we need any words on this one. Hopefully you agree with me. Um, let's flip this open. Now here's an opportunity for, I think we have opportunity for words here. We've got Happy Valentine's Day on the end. So we still have Love You and You Make My Heart Buzz. So which one do we want to do? Love You or You Make My Heart Buzz? All right. So it says, so far it says, Be Mine. There aren't any sayings about honey. If there were, we would totally do that, but there aren't. <laughs> You can type your own up on the printer and print them out though. Um, buzz. Okay, buzz for the win. All right. You make my heart buzz. Right here, I think that one is. That'd be super embarrassing if I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, you make my heart buzz. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can just see me grabbing like, um, you'll always be the one for me, which is another cute one. So many cute choices in this set, seriously. Make my heart buzz. All right, there we go. You make my heart buzz. Um, do I have a punch that can punch this out or should I just cut it again? I'll probably just cut it again. Cause I think it's a little too, yeah, it's too big for the oval. Okay, yeah, let's just cut it. Paper trimmer at the ready. Chop, chop. All right. 
and those panels were one and seven eighths so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter just cutting it to size when I do the PDF I'll uh, I'll have all these what the actual size ended up being <laughs> that I'm just randomly cutting right now. Okay, and then we'll just cover up some bees, but I want them peeking out. So I think we'll put it right here. So we got a bee above and a bee below. That's pretty cute, you guys. That is pretty cute. Now, of course, the other option we could have gone with was punching a bee, but I it would have been a tight fit. And then our happy Valentine's Day. Oh, we made a cute card, you guys. Yay, us. Now, we could have totally put a bee on the front. Let me show you um, a couple cards made with the sweets. Uh, I think the one I made, I mailed out to one of my new team members. So I don't have that one anymore. But um, we have this one right here. This was made by Brenda Cardinal. So you can see it's a little, the bee would be a little bit big unless we just did like one wing with the side view face. <laughs> um, we maybe could have fit it in, but here's a cute one that um, Brenda used the uh, honeycomb stamp that's in the set to make her own background, which is another option you could totally do on this card, right? Please close the ink. I'm scaring you guys. I'm scaring myself. Thank you, Judy. Save me from myself. Bless you. <laughs> And then we also have this one. This, oh, this one doesn't have a name on it. I don't know who the swap was from. It might have been from Ruth Bingle, but I'm not sure. We've got some um, Wink of Stella on the wings. And this is a fun fold card here. And so, yes, there is a B Trail stamp right in the set. Um, so many fun things you can do. Oh, you know what? I didn't even, I forgot there was a stripe in there. We didn't even use that one. We could have. And then this last one is also missing the name. I'm so sorry. Um, if it was yours, please let me know so I can give you credit. Um, this was, I think, from the Julie Davison swap, and um, there's no name on the back. It's probably at some point a piece of paper or business card that got separated, but super, super cute. I love how she used the hexagon punch um, to punch out the Happy Valentine's Day and use the heartfelt hexagons to stamp that frame. And then this cute ribbon, the Sweet Sorbet ribbon, also comes in the sweet. So here is our, let's bring our other never-ending card in as well. So this is the one I did in the last video. That's the one I did in this video. And um, super, super fun. Yeah, Helen, it is a really, really cute sweet. I agree with you 100%. And I mean, these flowers are really adorable as well. Um, especially like, I know this one gets kind of lost in here. But this white flower, well, where's some red? Let's grab the sweet survey. <laughs> this white flower with the white, or the yellow center is super, super cute. So, all right, friends, we are going to call it a day. Um, thank you so much for your patience. We'll hope Jennifer can be back with us in time for Crafter Noon. Um, I will be back on Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Who? Let me know who's going to be here with me. I don't want to see it by myself. <laughs> And if you qualified for a January Crafter Noon packet, they are on their way. They were mailed out last Friday. They're just taking a little extra time because of the holiday yesterday. So um, if you get nervous, uh, shoot me an email. You can reach me um, at my blog, suestampfield.com. Click on Contact Me, and I'll be happy to track it for you. I do send them out with tracking so that I know right where they are. And I uh, can't wait to share the newest uh, fun fold card with you. Looking forward to seeing you all Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. And if that doesn't work, I'll also be live Saturday night at 7.30 Central Time. Take care and have a great rest of your week. And thank you for making and sending handmade cards. You're making the world a kinder place. Take care. Bye-bye.